How's it going guys, it's Raider Knight, and today we're going to be playing Age of Civilizations on the Civ 5 start date scenario. We're going to see once and for all who's going to win. Uh, last video we saw the Zulu rise to power, we saw the Incans kind of, you know, unite their area a little bit and stuff like that. So, And Norway was doing really good, but I'm not sure if they're going to always uh, survive because it's kind of, you know, a really interesting game so far. I actually don't know who's going to win. It still could be anybody's game. I'm thinking it's leaning on the Zulu, but it really could be anybody. Not to mention the Zulu have low stability. They could still struggle. We don't know. But I think Zulu are probably going to win it if, unless something major happens. But this is the final part, I think, unless something really cool happens. I think this is going to be the final episode of the Civ 5 start date. Uh, scenario. So, hopefully you enjoy, and let's see what happens. I'm kind of interested to see, to be completely honest. So a lot has happened. I'm actually surprised how much major conflicts broke out. This might have been the most interesting out of all the uh, time lapses, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure who is the best right now. All, all I really did was just watch it play out. So obviously you have the Zulu here who did incredible. They took out Sunghai and they took out uh, Morocco. And they did all that pretty quickly. Uh, Rome... Got a little bit of stuff, but not too much. Uh, Spain and Norway, they fought quite a bit. And apparently Norway just got themselves into another uh, major war with Spain. I mean, not with Spain, with France. So I guess that's kind of interesting. Not really too big of uh, a conflict, to be honest. I think Norway is one of the biggest disappointments. They did so good the entire game, but this time lapse, like this final video, they didn't do like anything. They just sat there. Kind of disappointed with Norway, but what are you going to do? The Dutch are apparently going after the uh, Shoshone. I didn't even know the Shoshone were in Europe. What? Uh, apparently the Shoshone are still pretty powerful. No conflict ever broke out between these two, which I was kind of surprised about. But the USA did attack uh, the Incan Empire, and the USA looks like they're going to win that. So, not really too interesting. Uh, the Zulu with 4 million population, that is more than any other country, I'm pretty sure. The only real competitor is the Huns, and the Huns aren't really that powerful. 
the the Zulu literally are the most overpowered country on the whole map. There's nobody who even ranks close. The closest one again is the Huns, and they're you know they're not even close. So I think uh, we can give this game to the Zulu. They did absolutely incredible the whole time. Uh, overall, a really good game from the Zulu. I didn't really expect them to you know get this powerful, but they did. Uh, really good. We saw the the fall of India as well. India, they won a war with Champa early on, and then after that, the Huns invaded, and Champa rejoined the battle, and India pretty much collapsed. So, India lost. Australia never really did too much, and neither did uh, Japan. So, but Japan did build a small little empire, and they probably would fight uh, China quite a bit. I don't know. I don't know who would win between them, probably China. So, overall though, a pretty good little video. I was surprised that the Zulu did so good. Uh, at the start, they looked really weak, but then as the video started progressing, they got stronger and stronger. So, uh, I think they did probably the best. Who has the best economy? I think it's also the Zulu, I'm not sure. The Zulu have the highest population and the highest economy I'm pretty sure that they've won and they have they don't have the most buildings the Incans have the most buildings but uh, in terms of everything else the Zulu are very powerful overall they even have the highest tech or one of the highest techs in the world uh, overall I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all for the next one peace